yeah, okay, you got your financing on it. Yeah, okay, the bank might still be willing to refinance you when the time comes. But how long is it going to take for you to actually get returns on that money, right? I, I, I always drive by these giant, like, commercial industrial parks with these, like, in Mississauga and Brampton with these crazy, gigantic, long, deep buildings. And just wonder, like, who's got the balls to have that thing where, like... One month being vacant just wipes out so much of the income, you know, yeah. and generally it takes, I mean, how long does it take to rent out a 500,000 square foot warehouse? You know, there's only so many people looking for this. And so yeah. I don't know. I mean, I guess you can get lucky and then find someone to move in just as the last guy's moving out. But when they're when they're financing it though, it's right. So you got a, a debt coverage ratio that's going to cover that. So you got to have a certain amount of cash flow. They factored in vacancies. They factored in repairs and maintenance. They factored in management and costs and all that kind of stuff. Nobody so there's a lot of things already in built properly. in. Yeah. And when the time comes that you do have those vacancies and you do have turn turnover and, and you do have repairs and maintenance and everything else like that, that's always that's it expected, right? And Six that's why the bank vacant. underwrites it. The, the 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 under the bank underwrites it you know, really, really, really strict in order for those type of scenarios. Because the money was made in commercial real estate um, from the 70s. Yeah, you got to own the thing. You got to have was, no those, debt on it those, now. Those were, the, those were the guys who are like the 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 titans of the um, commercial real estate world. Like any of the guys that I, that I meet, either them or their kids are now selling the properties. It's because they bought it like 30, 40, 50 years ago, 70s or 80s. My, my wife's right? grandfather bought... Yeah few buildings back in yeah. the day yeah and these things they're not in the best locations but because of how long ago he bought them the yeah. locations ended up being decent and they're worth you know a decent amount of money they're yeah. always full they run beautifully there's no debt on them yeah. and like you know the 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 her grandfather who bought them is gone and now the next generation is like talking about selling it and i'm like guys why would you ever sell this thing it's like a printing press and yeah. if it's empty nobody cares you just wait till we fill it up again there's no pressure there's a management company it's like it yeah. spits out money why in the world would anybody sell i i don't get it people, why people need people need money people for want so obviously people cash. sell but that's where the money was made is that generation there Back the guys now who are buying in or that. have been buying i know they'll you know, there's strategies. Okay. You're a seasoned real estate investor. You know, you buy the property, you use other people's money, you know, you get in the door. Now you own your, you know, percentage and you've got some cash flow coming in. You don't care how much equity is in the property because at the end of the day, you're going to hang on to it for 30, 50 years and there's going to be money to be made. But if you've been buying, you know, commercial multifamily over the last, let's say five years, right? Yeah. Okay. You got your financing on it. Yeah. Okay. The bank might still be willing to refinance you when the time comes. But how long is it going to take for you to actually get returns on that money, right? And I think that that's going to be something that uh, is going to be really painful for people to sit through. We're not there though. The, the we're not there. The prices have not come down. There's no desperate sellers. There's very few power sales. Only if something was really mismanaged would would something like that come up, and the commercial real estate market is going to be uh, in trouble. And then on the land side, what about renewals and that stuff though? Wouldn't that well, the be, bank uh... doesn't have to renew it. The bank can look at it and say, you don't have the debt coverage ratio for us to give you the financing. So they'll go private. If it's if it's razor thin and the bank won't touch it, they'll go private. And then what happens there? You got fees. There's guys out there who would love that deal because guess what? They're going to pick up a property. They'll figure out how to make it work. 80%, sure. right? Yeah, yeah. 80% uh, of the value or, or whatever it is, 65 or whatever number that they're picking it up for on the, on the value, on the, on the loan of value. Hey guys, thanks for watching our Clips channel. Why don't you go and check out some more clips? We got lots of other good content somewhere over here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Boom. That was good. That was, that was good. good. That was good. I like that. That was good.